642, 59 degrees outside. I've got to stop calling you a mad scientist. Dr. Oh, Bill well. Reese is a chemistry professor at Louisiana Tech, much beloved by his students, I might add. Most of them, anyway. <laughs> well, you're pretty much a legend at Louisiana Tech among the chemistry students. I guess you have a lot of kids other than chemistry majors that take chemistry classes. Oh, sure. Um, the majority of the students I teach are in engineering. Yeah. And, uh, and in fact, your son was in a class of mine a few years ago. That's where I found yeah. out about you. He yeah. said you were a great teacher. Well, and uh, I never mentioned your proclivity to do things that are rather dangerous. Well, uh, hopefully they're not dangerous. Okay. But uh, we always take safety precautions, that's and that's why we better put our goggles okay. on today. We're going to put our goggles okay. on. Okay. And uh, what we're going to talk about today is a, a molecule or a compound called ammonia. Okay. I and, smelled uh, ammonia. That's right. I know a little about that. And uh, uh, ammonia is formula is NH3. NH3. Okay. And uh, this red ball represents the nitrogen atom. And okay. the three hydrogen atoms then are bonded to the nitrogen atom. All right. And those three hydrogen atoms are in a plane, and the nitrogen atom sits above that plane. I'm not going to have to know this to do anything later on. Oh, no, oh, but okay. it's I just... just um, it's uh, fine no, to know that, but right. I don't want to have to be quizzed. Knowing now. the geometry of a mo molecule helps us explain and predict its uh, behavior. This is and more for the camera people to understand. That, well, we're, it's a visual world we live in. <laughs> it really is. What are we going to okay. do then? Well, uh, I want to tell everybody we're going to make an ammonia fountain. Well, and I need to get that started because okay. it has to bubble uh, a few minutes. Okay. But in our flask here, uh, I have ammonium chloride. Okay, and I see it's uh, solidified. solidified a little yeah. bit, so I need to uh, a little more set in the air. Right, that. that's right. And it's a, a chemical reagent. It has various uses. And I'm going to mix with it about a teaspoon or a tablespoon of sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. Yeah, it's commonly called lye. Ooh. Or caustic. Okay. We don't want to touch and, that. And uh, do well, it. no, we don't want to touch it with our hands. But um, you know, it's uh, fairly safe to handle like this. And uh, well, we'll, that'll burn you now. Oh yeah, if, if you get it on, you, now if I could pour this into my hand and then walk to the trash can and dump it out and then walk to the sink and rinse it off and I'd be okay. But if there was a little moisture in there. Yeah, but if you left it in contact with your skin, it would okay. uh, cause a chemical burn. Okay. And so, uh, I do that. now. Okay, we're putting an eye on. On to ammonium chloride, okay. okay? And I'm going to put this stopper in. It has a delivery tube. And I want to mix that up some. Oh, and I've forgotten one thing. I want to put a little bit of water in here. Okay. Okay. A little bit. Just a little bit, because that'll speed the reaction up a little bit. This is a scientific term, a little bit of a water. A little da a skosh. Sco is that really a chemistry term, a uh, skosh? Uh, sure it is. Okay. <laughs> no, I made that up. I oh, okay. Okay, and so hopefully we'll see now bubbles. What's the bubble? What's okay, the well right now, mostly though, that's air bubbles, because the flask is filled with air. Yeah. But the reaction is generating ammonia gas. And so the ammonia gas is forcing the air which is, out of which the... Which is expanding uh, in there and pushing the air out. Right. Okay. And I'm a little disappointed that's bubbling so slowly. <laughs> uh, but uh, maybe I haven't uh, got it mixed up really well. Help it out a little bit. Okay. But we'll let that go a few minutes and okay. this uh, possibly... This is not going to blow our deal, is it? Oh, I hope not. Okay. But, now, an uh, ammonia fountain doesn't sound like something you'd want at a wedding. Oh, I don't know like why not. Uh, if it works right, it's oh. really pretty, okay. but I'm, not <laughs> okay. I'm getting nervous about this right now. But let's talk a little bit about ammonia. We have household reagents that contain ammonia. Okay. Of course, that's just a cleansing reagent. And ammonia is really good for cleaning glass. Okay. And in fact, most people clean windows, uh, or a lot of people clean windows with Windex. Right. It's got ammonia and, in it. Right. And it has, a, notice that blue color. Mm -hmm. And the blue color is because there's a little bit of copper in there. Okay. And copper will form a complex with ammonia molecules that is a deep blue in color. And so nice, they, pleasing uh, color. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's just for aesthetic effects. I, I don't believe so. the copper is necessary to help clean the windows okay. or whatever. Well, you don't want uh, something that's a now, bad looking. Now, color. this is a solution of ammonium salts. Okay. And, uh, uh, is that like smelling, smelling salt? salts? Smelling salts, okay. okay. And we, uh, people commonly use this if someone faints at a wedding mm -hmm. or something. And when, uh, when their ammonia fountain doesn't work, when their ammonia fountain faint. doesn't work, they'll yeah, faint and, and whatever. And uh, uh, I got knocked out playing football a time or two, and they uh, uh, waved this under my nose. I'm, that was a fond memory I'd like to get rid of. <laughs> but um, I want you to uh, example this for us. Now, okay. you want to be careful. You don't just stick your nose no, down No, you, uh, whenever you're going to uh, check the odor of a chemical, you never stick your nose up there and inhale it. Yeah, don't yeah. inhale it. Yeah. Do like Bill Clinton and just kind of, you know, uh, observe it. Just try it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So does that smell like ammonia? It smells like ammonia. All right. So that's yeah. the Bill Clinton technique that's for right. 
testing. Of course, I didn't know he did that. <laughs> well, I, I heard that anyway. Okay. He doesn't inhale, I know that. Oh, but, okay. <laughs> okay. oh boy. But now, another property of ammonia. That's what we need, a Republican chemist. Is in, right, uh, I'm not a Republican. Okay, that's okay. I that's can kid Bill Clinton because right. I'm a Democrat. You're, an, you're from Arkansas. Right, I'm from Arkansas and I'm a Democrat. Right. So right. We're just but, about quit bubbling over there. Well, right? I don't like that. I want it to bubble a lot more. Yeah. You want it to bubble a lot more. I want yeah. it to bubble a lot more. We're going to. That's helping. Maybe that's going to help. Okay. Okay. So we'll let that go a couple of minutes more. Now, this is a, a solution of hydrochloric acid. Okay. Now, Ooh. that's the acid that's in our stomachs. Oh. And in fact, this is um, a one molar solution. That, it, that just means, that just tells us the concentration of it. Okay. And that's about the same as our stomach acid. Okay. And so this I can is what. I tell you from, from personal experience, that'll eat you. That's right. Yeah. And so uh, I'm going to pour a little bit into this beaker. Okay. And then I have some phenolphthalein here, which is an acid base indicator. Okay. And uh, we'll put a few drops of that into our acid, and it stays colorless. Sure does. Okay. Now we can take some ammonia and put into this beaker. Okay. This is all going to come together into something. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we'll put a few drops of phenolphthalein in there. All right. And Oops, it turns purple. Right. Pink. Pink. Okay. They are, uh, is that magenta? Magenta. That's I'm not a good, sure. That's a good color. Okay. I'm just uh, into about four color names. That's about well, all Well, that I can pink is what I call it that's anyway. That's right. Okay. And so uh, that's because ammonia is a base. Okay. And this is, uh, all aqueous solutions of ammonia are basic. Okay. And uh, all acidic solutions then stay, uh, the phenolphthalein stays colorless, and so this is, it can tell us whether or not we have a basic solution. Okay. And if you're checking for ammonia, not only the odor is there, but you can try this. Okay. okay. Now, <laughs> what I was hoping to have by now is a flask filled with ammonia gas. Okay? Mm -hmm. And um, I'm getting very nervous that we don't have it completely filled with ammonia. This is not like the time you told me the balloon really wasn't going to blow up, but it did. No. We're not setting no. it up for this. Right. But, um, uh, what I have in this eyedropper, in this bulb, is just pure water. Okay. Okay. And what I'm going to do is squirt some water into our flask. All right. And uh, that's supposed to start something, but uh, I'm discouraged because that's still bubbling. Well, don't and be it's discouraged. Gonna fight. This, and you know uh, how your students feel. Every night that's they right. do an experiment, That's right. And occasionally things don't work out just right. Okay. And, this uh, probably means it's going to blow up. I hope not. Okay. All right. Are we well, ready to do well, this? Well, <laughs> yes, we are. You might be. Let's squirt some water in there. There it goes. Ah, it's real pretty. You've conned me again. Now, what's it doing? Okay. What's happening? For some reason, when I squirted water into the flask, the pressure dropped to, to a very low pressure inside the flask. And so atmospheric pressure is forcing this water up the tube, and we get the fountain effect. And now, do you notice anything about the color? About the color, yeah. It's... Uh turn magenta. Magenta. So and this means... this solution down here, I put acid in it. I didn't tell you that. No. This is acidic, and then I put uh, phenolphthalein in there. Okay. And so ammonia is basic, and so when it pulls this solution up in here, it neutralizes the acid, and there's some left over, and it makes it basic. So you get a, a colorless liquid that sprays into a red fountain. Now, this gives you some indication why Pepto-Bismol is this color. <laughs> because it neutralizes no, stomach acid. Pepto-bismol does not have phenolphthalein in it. Oh, okay. You know how I know that? How do you know that? Because phenolphthalein is the active ingredient in x -lax. And right. <laughs> so they don't put that in Pepto-bismol. Okay, I guess now, you're right. The, the story here, though, is why does this pressure drop so much when that I is. squirt water into the flask? All right, why does it? Because ammonia is incredibly soluble in water. Okay? You can dissolve, you can take a liter of water and dissolve 1,130 liters of ammonia gas into it. Good gracious. And so, uh, and knowing something about the structure of the ammonia molecule and the structure of a water molecule uh, allows us to explain why they're so soluble. And if we had 45 minutes, we could uh, get that story across. We probably, Can we have 45 no, minutes? We're probably going to run out of time right before we could do that. This is very, that was very interesting. It was very colorful, and we learned a little something from it. Plus, you know that that's not something you want at your wedding. Why not? An ammonia fountain. I don't know. <laughs> it's just momentary gratification. It just happens and it's all over with. Well. So uh, you really need something that, like a, you know, something that lasts a little longer. That. That's okay. very interesting. Nice to have you here today. Well. We've learned a little something more about the world around us, and you're always very interesting to talk to. And no one was hurt. That's the part I like about it the most. <laughs> well, hopefully that'll never happen. Thanks so. for being here today. We're going to take a break. Excellent. We'll come right back right after this.